as summer gets closer, a familiar problem popping up yet again in Baltimore City and beyond dirt bikes and street racing. Now, Fox 45 News has been following this issue for years. We have seen and heard dozens of examples of street racers and stunt drivers blocking roadways throughout Baltimore City and Baltimore County. Fox 45's Vincent Hill joins us live now as this seasonal problem starts up once again. Vincent. Yeah, Mary, a new law just in time for summer described as the toughest in the state, but many are skeptical things will change. Too fast, too furious. Illegal street racing caught on camera this week at Lancaster Street and South Central Avenue. Overall, it's chaos. A new law not working. In October, the mayor signed a law which bans obstructing streets. Racing or stunt driving. Written by Councilman Isaac Yitzi Slifer. There's actually a new law in place that's uh, a pretty strict law. It's the strictest in the state. Up to a thousand dollar fine and up to 12 months in jail. But residents are already doubtful. The new law will solve the city's old problem. I'm in the middle of this dumb stuff. This is just another law that's not going to be enforced. There's going to be no prosecutions, no holding anyone accountable. Joy Vanoni says as the weather has warmed up, he's gotten less sleep because of the noise. These guys, I mean, they'll do a 10, 11 o'clock at night, midnight, 1 o'clock in the morning. You know, they're on their own schedule. And it's not just his personal life affected. Hope you guys enjoy your slices. He says his pizza shop is as well. Mike, we have two cheese and one pet. These people are trying to just sit down, enjoy dinner, go out for some drinks, relax. And these guys are blocking the intersection doing wheelies, you know, just smoke everywhere. He fears the dangerous stunts and squealing tires could lead to dire consequences. They're going to hurt somebody, hurt themselves. Despite that concern. And I'm just sick and tired of it. Vanoni is ready for change as summer approaches and the days get longer. There's no reason to do this on city streets and in front of businesses and houses. Now, Councilman Slifer tells Fox 45 News that BPD is rolling out a presentation to all districts on how to enforce that law. Now, it'll be interesting to note that BPD is already almost 500 officers short. For now, we're live in Baltimore. Vincent Hill, Fox 45 News. Vincent, thank you. Take a look at this video from Baltimore County. Video posted to YouTube shows two cars colliding while doing donuts. It happened near Security Square Mall. Seconds later, a fight breaks out. Baltimore County Police say this incident happened last month. They say one of the cars involved was stolen. I'm Mary Bubala. Thank you for watching. Here's another video for you to watch. Also take some time to subscribe to our YouTube channel.